Coy and Rose say Victor. Well, how's everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. It is a, another video from your older than average YouTuber here on the YouTubes, and it is today going to be navigating new releases on a no buy episode number 54. <laughs> um, if you want to see what new releases have been ruminating around in my brain, you're in the right place. And you know what you need to do? You need to keep on watching. Okay, so wow, this has been a tragic week of too many numbers, overtime, computer problems, things going wrong. So you're getting the, I've been looking at numbers all day with the dent in my nose, no makeup, I just put on a little bit of lips for color, and that's it. So we are here for our favorite thing of the week, looking at new releases. So glasses on and let's get started. So it is a lot of sneak peeks coming soon. One we finally get that we've talked about before, we can finally see what it looks like, and then a couple new releases. And then there was a surprise mystery box that came today, and you can see how, and I'll explain how I backed my ass out. Alrighty, so let's look at what we've got here. And what are we starting with today? We are going to start with, this one so we've talked about this so we've had a picture we had a picture of a cover and an empty palette for a while but we finally got this um inside color story there's still no release date yet and still no price i have something that i think is kind of going to be maybe close to the price but here it is this is from ensley rain cosmetics and so this is the harvest moon palette it's whispers of automatics are in the air as the moment you've all been waiting for has arrived so if you do go to the website there is videos of swatches and then some nice videos so you can kind of see some of the shifts of of the colors I just have here the cover and the inside of the palette and what we've got here is heralding the moment where nature and artistry intertwine we present you with the long anticipated harvest moon palette immerse yourself in eight breathtaking multichromes I love me a multichrome six shimmery duochromes I also like a duochrome and 70 velvety mattes and mattes are actually my all-time favorite um, and it's crafted in our reformed refined formula encased in our most intricate and alluring packaging yet this palette is a love letter to fall fall is my favorite season each magnetic pan dances with possibility awaiting for your next journey whisper to us which shades captured your heart below well of course it's the green ones and the orange one and the red one <laughs> i am nothing if not consistent in my loves of greens yellows and reds so there's the color story here this is absolutely beautiful it's got that nice pop of red a nice pop of green it's got that purple in there but then it's got some nice beautiful dark grungy and neutral mattes some darker shimmers some neutral shimmers this is really really pretty and i think you can get a lot of looks now i don't know what the price is but i'm kind of looking at the website and looking at some of the palettes they look to be around the $76 mark and this is a three six seven fourteen so what's 21 shades in here yeah so this is yeah this is really really pretty I can't wait to see um, when it's released and what the final price is this is pretty tempting okay we'll have to pause <laughs> Oh, there we go. We've been having sirens going all day. I have no idea what's going on, but they've been sirens whizzing in and about here. So there we go. So we finally got to see what is inside the Ensley Rain um, Harvest Moon palette. So uh, there we go. So next up, so this is the one that popped up today and this is from Notoriously Morbid. And here I'll just show you a picture. This is the cool, ghoul bags and it's a mystery bag so you get to pick kind of your favorite monster so daughter of dracula daughter of frankenstein um and then it's a mix so it's like picking your favorite ghoul so and then it's a mix of different things and it was released at 12 o'clock today there was some when i checked maybe about half an hour ago and the story is i put one in the cart because the price was right 
$34.99, I thought was great for a mystery bag. It says each bag is themed after your favorite monster's daughters and can include shadows, multichromes, duochrome, shimmers, or mattes, and mattes, lipsticks, mattes and metallics, highlighters, and more. And I've been wanting to try Notoriously Morbid, so I popped that sucker into my um, cart and then I checked out the shipping and $21.99 US to Canada, no thank you. I, yeah, no. They did have afterpay after $35, so that was almost tempting, but I'm just like, I, 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 I can't. <laughs> Not that much shipping. 15 maybe but and again it's not the brand's fault but for a mystery bag from a brand i haven't tried yet it'd have to be pretty special for me to pay 21 dollars to um, pay for shipping so there we go but they were still online so when i post this if they're still there and you love them i love a mystery bag i'm a sucker 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 for mystery bags but there we go. So next up is a, another sweet peek. And this is from one of my new favorites. And I'm planning to do a video because I managed to get a hold of some of their highlighters. So this is Beauty Moon Cosmetics. And it says Halloween launch coming very soon. It's all I got. It was this little spooky little video. And I just kind of grabbed the screen that says here, the dark days are coming. I really love the palette that I got in the ice cream box. I've been really enjoying it. And like I said, I've managed to get a hold of one of their hi their highlighter palettes and then also some glitter. So um, if I hadn't had a headache today and wasn't kind of like work wasn't taking over my life, I would have filmed that today and would have had makeup on my face. But I think I might leave that filming for tomorrow. So anyways, um, Beauty Moon Cosmetics is having a Halloween launch and it's coming soon. And I'm really excited. That is a nice little brand. And then, oh, the sneak peeks just keep on coming. And I told you, did I not tell you that the reason why it was slow for a while is they were saving for all the Halloween and fall stuff. I was 100% right. And next up, and I thought the last one I bought was the Halloween palette, but I was incorrect. And this is Gourmet Girls and Doodles by the Bunny. And like it says, you've been spooked and now get ready to be haunted. So this is September 15th. It's coming out. There has been no sneak peeks on colors or pricing. Um, I think I want to say I paid around $55 for the last one. So I'm going to see, I, I would say it'd be pretty close to the same if it's got some of the, the fancy shades in there, but I'm really excited. Um, Doodles by the Bunny has some beautiful designs and working with a brand whose formula I like. Yeah, no, this is, re this is really cool. I'm still waiting for the more glam light sneak peeks, but glam light's the end of the month and this is the 15th. So I wish glam light would hurry up with the sneak peeks. So I know where I'm spending my pennies because I do love gourmand girls. But anyway, so um, keep checking back. Um, maybe hopefully by next week, I can show you what it was. Um, Cause, oh, I think maybe new releases might be coming out on new release day. So I will have some information for sure. And then how we started this episode, who did we start with? We started with Ensley Rain Cosmetics and they are at it again. And here is a cover and this is fantastic. Like, look at this. So it's just a sneak peek, but it's the Twisted Tea Party. Another sneak peek of something we've been coming we've been having coming soon and we've been busy little bees and coming soon and stay tuned. And then apparently um, you can use your radar 10 at checkout um, because I got this from um, makeup on my radar and, or now my makeup radar. Um, yeah, so this looks pretty exciting. And if it looks like the covers with the blues and the oranges and the purples, and is that kind of cosmic? That would be tempting. It would be, well, I had to look at the color story, but definitely would be hard pressed to see which one is nicer. The Harvest Moon palette, we'll just throw that up there again as a refresher, or if the shades match this cover, here it is again. So if it matches this cover, mm, yeah, I could be tempted. Alrighty, so there we go. There's all our sneak peeks and, and reveal of a color story. I just have two releases here left. They're actual releases. Um, I'm going to do 
the most expensive and then I'm gonna end up with affordability. So let's go here to this one. And this of course is a brand that I've been wanting to get more palettes from. I have the one, one day when I have extra cash, we're gonna go and snap up as many as we can. And this is from Adept Cosmetics. And I didn't get their last one that was like this and I really wanted it. So this is their new holiday multi-use palette, Rainbow Radar. Uh, Ra Rainbow Radar, I've got makeup on my radar, on my brain. Rainbow Radar, all powders. Um, coming soon along with a restock of the Ketracel White. And uh, yeah, so this looks beautiful. So there's four big pans, but they all have multiple colors in. The last one, they're in stripes going this way, the other way, horizontal. so they're horizontal, there's some vertical ones, and then there's some where there's kind of just like a mix of colors. So again, you could, you know, go in between. So this gives you a lot of highlight. So that was the one angle. Here's another angle where I think you can look at it a teeny bit better. Yeah, so you, this way you get a lot of colors out of here. It looks like you would get four, eight, 12, 12 like 15 single sh singly shades and then you can kind of mix it around. So it would definitely be one of the ultimate highlighter palettes and the colors are quite vibrant. So I have a feeling this is not really for the faint of heart, but if you're like me and you like highlighters and you like to be seen from space, this could be it. And I guess it says it is a, com yeah, it is a coming soon as well. I thought this would, we had some more info here. I checked back, but there still wasn't anything. So, but this one we have again, a little bit more information. We know it's coming out, it's a holiday release. And uh, there we go. So the last thing that I've got today, this is, this is definitely out now. It was hard for me to kind of work their website. It was a very confusing website, but I will show you one of the, yeah, I'll show you the little grid photo right here. And this is from Catrice Cosmetics. So we can get Catrice here a lot of times in drugstores and stuff. I don't think I've seen anything super like special releases from them. It's usually more um, little palettes and things, but this is their new Color Blast eyeshadow palette. There's Tangerine meets Lilac. It debuts with new built-in cake liner. That's a dream come true blue. And it's also available in the magical shade of purple. And then it says, head over to catrice.eu to shop your new faves. And then it says, more than a dreamy shell, our beautiful new color blast eyeshadow palettes boosts nine hot shadows and a cake liner to create a versatile and vibrant looks. So there's two that are available. Again, there's Tangerine Meets Lilac and Blue Meets Lime. So let's first look at the Tangerine Meets Lilac. That's this one here. So this one is neutrals with pops of purple and orange. And then the middle shade is the cake liner and it looks really cute. At first, when I was looking at the photo of all of them together, I was like, the, the blue one definitely um, sticks out more. But if you look at them separately, you can really see how pretty that other one is. So if you're wanting something that's a little bit more versatile with some pops of color, maybe the tangerine meets a lilac as the, is the one for you. And then this one is absolutely stunning. This is the blue meets a lime. And as you can see in the center, again, it has cake liner, even says cake liner on it. And it's got some shades of blue. It's got some shades of green and it even does look like it does have a little bit purplish shades in there as well. So I guess it depends. If, if you want a little bit more brightness, I would definitely say the blue meets lime. If you want a few more neutrals in your palette, then I would say the tangerine meets the lilac. Now, again, I had a little trouble navigating their page, but I want to say they were something like 14 euros for a palette. So that's pretty good, I think. And uh, yeah, I just saw that it kind of popped out at me and uh, I thought this was really, really nice. And if I would see that here at a drugstore, if we would get something a little bit more fancier for countries, I would probably be tempted to pick one up. They would probably be 20-ish um, dollars Canadian. And I think that's pretty nice for um, a palette that has a cake liner and I love cake liners. And that's it. It's been easy peasy lemon squeezy, except for all the Halloween releases. And they've all been mostly sneak peeks. They're all trying to get my money. That's 
that's it. They all know Christmas, eh, whatever. Um, Valentine's Day, Easter, that stuff usually doesn't get me. But Halloween, it gets me every single time. They, they just they just know. And I think I'm blaming it on Shroud because they kind of started it with their Halloween. And I think people figured out that people love Halloween. And then Unearthly with their fabulous mystery box last year. And I think everybody's just gone, doot, 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 doot. And it's been Halloween everywhere. So that's cool. My life is Halloween 365. <laughs> 24 7 so there we go but that is our new releases this week is there any of the sneak peeks it's basically it was sneak peeks except for the catrice that is um calling to you do let me know down below and if you're yeah and if you're excited about halloween like i am so and that's it for me if you like this video please give it a like comment and subscribe and maybe even hit that notification bell if not that's okay we can still be friends we can still do videos where you have to stare at my naked face as always behave make good choices and we will talk to you soon okay bye bye